My weight loss photo went viral on Reddit. <laughs> So technically it was my wife and I's photo that went viral on Reddit. It was a weight loss transformation photo and it got a lot of attention. So I wanted to share kind of the story of how that happened, my thoughts on it, and on the comments, there was a lot of comments. So I just wanted kind of to go over that with you because it was kind of a fun experience. So about 20 days ago, I was thinking, I was like, man, my wife and I have lost a lot of weight. I lost 120 pounds at the time. My wife had lost 40 at the time, and so 160 total combined pounds, and we were just really proud of that. So I posted that, and for those of you that aren't familiar with Reddit, uh, they call it the front page of the internet. So it's a place where you know a lot of things get pretty popular and spread throughout the internet. So I submitted my post of our weight loss transformation from last Christmas versus 2021 Christmas. And I really wasn't expecting a lot of attention. So I posted the photo on the subreddit, Made Me Smile. And then I went and saw a movie with my family. We saw Sing 2, which was really good by the way. So we got out of the theater and I checked the post, see how it's doing, and it has 20,000 upvotes. And I was just like, holy cow, that is crazy. I did not expect that much attention. And I think now it's just a hair under 100,000 upvotes. And it's under 2,000 comments because it got locked. They locked the thread because I think there was some like mean or nasty comments. So I think that's why they locked it probably. But yeah, it ended up with around 100,000 upvotes and around 2,000 comments. So that was pretty crazy. And then, uh, then I started kind of reading through some of the comments and <laughs> it was a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so a lot of the comments though were really nice. Like if I could say a percentage, I would say 70% were very nice and kind and the other 30% were not so kind to me. But I can definitely say I'm 100% okay with that because that's part of what you do when you put yourself out there publicly. Uh, nobody made me submit that photo. I put that photo there and I put these videos on YouTube. So I understand and I don't take it personally that if you put yourself out there and show yourself that you're gonna get both the good and the bad that comes along with that. The one thing I was really happy about though is that there was not, I couldn't find one mean comment towards my wife so that was kind of nice there was some like that were a little bit mixed where it would be like oh she one said oh she was a three before and now she's an eight or she was average looking before and now she's a smoke show so they kind of insulted her before but then they commented her after so overall i guess that's a win but uh a lot of people said how pretty she was and how they liked her little outfit so it was just, it was nice to see that they were kind to her. And to be honest, I don't even know if I take it as a rude comment when people are saying he looks the same because I don't think I look the same in those photos. I think I look better in the second photo and that I do look slimmer and like my face is smaller. So I do think that there's a difference, but I don't take it that personally just because I agree that it's not a drastic difference in the photos because I, could, I mean, it just they, the photos weren't set up to be like a dramatic before and after. In the second photo, I'm wearing dark clothes. I think it's at a different angle of the photo. So it wasn't set up to put really show the drastic differences. So I get what they're saying. I have photos like this one that do show a pretty big drastic difference that may be in hindsight. But again, I didn't know that I was going to get that much attention. So, um, but... Uh, a lot of people commented that they're following this post for next year. So I am going to post again in December of 2022. And I feel confident that I'm going to have a large amount of weight loss again this year. And Elise only has, my wife only has like 10-ish pounds I think left now. Because she's lost a couple more since the new year. So I think she's only got 10-ish pounds left to lose to hit her goal. So we'll both be in the photo again, and we'll both have more weight loss. I'm confident of it, so I'm excited to post again next year. I bet some of you are interested to see my wife's thoughts on it, so maybe I'll try to mini-interview her a little bit. And hey. hey. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? <laughs> what 
What are you doing? So I've been wanting, I've, I kept forgetting that I wanted to record your thoughts on the Reddit like thing that blew up. Yeah. Yeah, like how, like the comments, all that. What did you think? Well, <laughs> you snuck up on me. Yeah. Um, I mean, it blows my mind because I didn't even know you posted it. And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, it's at 40,000 views. And I'm like, what? So I just, it surprised me that people care so much, which was really cool. And I didn't like, I liked 90% of the comments. And everyone is so, a lot of people are so supportive and really awesome. But then there are some trolls on there that are just messed up. I... Anyone who would accuse me of cheating on my husband pisses me off because you don't know me and I love you very much. So. But they thought you were hot though. I know they did think I was hot but, <laughs> and that was flattering but I don't care if people think I'm hot if they're, if they're jerks. Yeah. Okay. But I did appreciate people saying I looked good though. It, it was definitely a ego boost and uh gave me saying that like i worked hard and it wasn't easy so it was nice to see that yeah but they also made me laugh <laughs> the ones who were like she was she was a three and now she's a smoke show I'm like <laughs> yeah um but yeah the mean ones no not good okay but. sounds good I think the one type of comments or were probably the rudest that I didn't quite understand the mentality of is people that are saying like, dude, you better get your butt in gear or she's going to leave you, you know, or she's probably banging some guy at the gym or things like that. It's like, do you not comprehend that perhaps people on different fitness levels could still be totally in love and totally devoted to each other? You know, we've been married. They don't know this, but we've been married 10 years, over 10 years now. And, you know, we're, we've been through rough times. I think I've been very candid on my channel about how I went through a time of depression. And when I was depressed, I'm sure I wasn't that pleasant to be around. I wasn't helping with the chores or with the kids or contributing to the marriage all that much. So I can understand where it would have been hard for her. But I guess people don't know that we're at probably the best place our marriage has ever been that we are working together towards these goals of getting a healthier lifestyle for us and for our family. So I guess they don't know the behind the scenes. I saw a lot of people use the Reddit function to remind themselves of this post in a year because they want to see, did I keep my word that in 2022 I lost another 120 pounds and my wife still has 10 pounds to go to her goal weight. So I think it's cool that they're following our journey and that they want to see next year, do we do what we said we were going to do? I'm confident in it, but if you want to follow that journey, if you're not already, subscribe here. And I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers, so if you could help me cross that threshold, that'd be awesome. So those are my thoughts about the viral Reddit post of me and my wife. Kind of a fun story. I've never had anything get that much attention, so pretty cool. And thank you so much for watching. No matter your girth, you have worth, and we'll see you in the next video.